leave this planet, you know, will it matter that I'm here? And so working here, I can wake up every day and say, yeah. I used to stay in a one bedroom house. So basically, my sister put us out, we was homeless. I was a pregnant teen. I did already have a child. When I first got pregnant with my first daughter, I was only 16 years old. I didn't have a job. Even when I thought I was pregnant, I couldn't even throw a towel in. People look at you in disgust when they see you homeless and you ain't got nothing. I just didn't have any support. I came home at the time. I had no high school diploma or GED at the time. I was unemployed. It's amazing to see the change, to know where they come from, to know our stories. If people could just see the, the files, the intakes, it's, it's a lot of hurt. It's a lot of stuff going on in our community that's, that's hidden or not spoken of. Um, and a lot of us grew up in a climate, and I, you know, I'm speaking from you know, experience that what happens in this house stays in this house. And that, that's not good. And you know, just because a wound is covered doesn't mean it's healed, right? And so it's a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of that, it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of hurt that's going on that, from young people that you, you don't think that they experience, but, is somebody that's almost 40. The stuff they carry, I can put everything that I've been through in, the, in, in one bucket and still wouldn't even amount to the stuff they've carried at 16, 17, 18. You know, you just don't even, you don't even realize it, so. So, I decided I didn't want to be homeless no more. And if I had to go get help from somebody else, like a program or something like that, I was willing to do it. I'm proud of myself and I told my auntie, I said I ain't homeless no more. I got food, I got clothes and stuff. So they really helped me get my life moving. If it wasn't for them, I probably would still be in the same situation, either homeless or in the street somewhere. It really helped me be a great mother to my kids. Uh, it's helped me become a, become a uh, woman. It's helped me get ready for the real world. As I was, um finishing through the program, as I transitioned out of the program, I was working at Walmart um, part-time and also was still volunteering at um, Open Arms because I know it still mattered. I know um, it was a great program that still gave to the community and I wanted to give back. And then they offered me a position and today I am the maternity group home director. It's non-profit. <laughs> You're not in it for the money. You're definitely not in it for the money. But the intangibles that you, you receive, when you realize you're truly making a difference, you're not just coming to work. You're coming to purpose, and you're coming to fulfill your purpose and help somebody else to do it. You can't put a price on that. This, this is what people spend their whole life trying to figure out where they're supposed to be, where they fit, and why God put them on earth. We found it.